So my name is Salvatore La Rosa. I am working with the Children Tumor Foundation since two years and I'm responsible for uh, research and development. So my title is Vice President of Research and Development. Yes, Synodos is, uh, is a very interesting project that we started at CTF. It's, um, it's, a, it's an experiment. What we want to do is make use of all the platform that we are trying to build at CTF, starting with clinicians which look at the, at the disease with patients and move along with um, uh, biologists and animal modelers and pharmacologists and bring this group of people together and leverage their knowledge from the start when they think about new experiments and look at what is really important going back to the patient. So it's, it's, it's a collaborative effort. Um, we looked at what is already there in terms of projects, looking at uh, the, the dream team from Stand Up to Cancer, and we modeled a smaller group that we believe would be very, very efficient to work towards a specific disease. We have started since one year with NF2, so the, the group is now um, across US, we have a group in, in Germany, it's about 12 institutions, 8 institutions and 12 PIs which are looking at NF2. It's, it's, it's a mosaic composition of biologists and clinicians and experts in technology, for instance, kinome expression or next generation sequencing. And what they're doing is developing new um, biology with new technology, but with all the stakeholders in the room so that they know exactly if something, if an event very early in biology is important to the clinic. We believe this is a success because other scientists they want to join and there is a lot ongoing. The good things for the other scientists is that this project is, is going to deliver something very, very soon to the community. Because the way we structure it is there will be 12 months when this data is going to be protected by this group. But after 12 months, this data is going to be released to the public. Collaborating with Sage BioNetwork is an organization which has a portal and those, all the statistics is really integrating different communities. I think for the NF community, we're going to rely heavily on this organization and they will be in charge of releasing the data. So we had the first set of data coming in January this year. So we expect for January next year, January, February, first months of the year to release the first set of data that Synodos NF2 is generating so that everybody can access it. NF1 is a really ambitious program. We had very large donation and we are activating two calls for NF1. So the Synodos is going to replicate. What we already have for NF2 is going to replicate for NF1. Um, so this year we're going to activate at least two new projects, Synodos NF1. One is going to be a preclinical acceleration project. So what we ask the applicants is to come up with ideas to have faster animal models which are accurate, as accurate as what we see now with gem models, with genetically engineered mouse model. Those models take long time to run. We want to be faster. So we're asking them to generate new models which are really representative of the biology, but can give us an idea to kill a molecule faster or to move faster to the clinic. And this is already in place. The other model, the other call is for low-grade gliomas, NF1. And this is going to be a learning experience. So we're asking clinicians to come with samples, understand what the targets are from the human samples. So it's going to be an exercise like this TCGA, so the Cancer Genome Atlas, made for NF1 LGG. And from there, they were going to expand the knowledge with other work which comes along the line. But the main goal would be to find new targets, to understand how and when to treat kids with a uh, low-grade glioma. Yeah, I, I, 
what what I feel every time I come to the NF conference is um, is a lot of it's a vibrant community, and um, there's always something new, exciting. I think this year we have a lot of news. The MEC inhibitors seems to really work, and we are waiting for full results. So what I expect in the next year is that we're gonna get an approval very soon for a drug for treatment for NF1. Um, that will definitely open the road. That will uh, start industry to be very, very curious about this field. I see also that NF1 is becoming very popular among other cancers. It's, it's a gene which is highly mutated in, across different cancer types and is gaining a lot of attention. So I see a lot of buds around NF more than in the past. And I think when there is buds, there is more data generated, there will be no, more knowledge about the disease and we'll soon have, we'll have results, I'm sure. Mm -hmm.